Good morning uh, from Western Indiana again. Uh, we're out here at the Portland Mills Covered Bridge out in Park County on another, for the most part, cloudly or cloudless, you know, morning and nothing's still on the trees. It's you know, early April, but there's not really much of anything, you know, to see. The sun's coming up, sky is starting to orange up, you know, which you can see here maybe behind me, a bridge behind me and you can see everything is starting to orange up but you know yeah a deer out in a field out there very well could be Matter of fact it is i have to get a long lens out and take a look see if i get a shot of that you know but uh came out this morning like always just trying to you know get out and enjoy you know the outdoors um take a few pictures and share some information you know and test out new camera and a new lens you know so let's take a look here and see what i see Take another shot, let that go. Yeah. Where you can see, you know, my camera here in the shot that we're doing. I can open that up for you so you can see you know, what I'm looking at. You can see the you know the color through the bridge, which is really what I'm trying to capture. You know. Great morning. Yeah, as luck would have it as I'm down here uh taking a, a picture of this bridge as the sun's coming up. My battery dies. Yeah, well, should have known better. It's cold out, has been cold out, and batteries don't last very long. So I guess I should have been paying better attention. Uh, just to give you an idea, here's what we're looking at. You know, the sun's coming up over here, trying a little different angle, using a circular polarizer, you know, polarizing, uh, trying to get some of the glare off the water and trying to catch some of the color there off to the right as the sun's coming up. All right. Let's see if we can get our focus back. There we go. As you can see, the sun's coming up, so we've got to adjust our exposure. For one fifth of a second, F11. Got some nice orange this morning. Off to the right. Yeah. What do we capture there? A little dark. All right. At least for this morning, it's hard to see, but. No, definitely a nice image. All right, so one of the things I get asked a lot is, you know, what's the right camera, you know, to use? You know, what do I need? You know, what's the right camera? Do I need the latest and greatest, you know, camera? Is, is my, well, my old Nikon D700 work? You know, what, what's the right camera uh, to go out and take pictures, whether it's covered bridge, a sunrise, or just landscapes? You know, I get asked this a lot. You know, and, and, and there's a lot of different answers, to be honest. There's no one good answer, you know, but, and you certainly there's a lot of YouTube videos where people demonstrate and explain why they feel this or that is better. All right. I practice a pretty simple philosophy, and I think it's one that, you know, it, it makes, I guess it's one that people can easily understand and easily follow. All right. So what's the best camera, you know, for... You know, shooting landscapes, it's whatever you got. I mean, it really isn't, you know, you don't have to have the latest Hasselblad medium format or Fuji medium format, you know, camera to, to, to come out and do this. You can take great pictures with an iPhone, all right? You don't need, you know, all those things. It's really, it has more to do with you, all right, than it does anything else. And the most important thing is, again, get out. You know, and, and, and take pictures, you know, that, that make you happy, you know, you know, something that you're proud of, something that, you know, you can smile about and something that, you know, you, yeah, you feel is a good image. You know, now the camera itself. All right. So let's talk a little bit about that. All right. So what do I shoot? You know, I, I shoot, I, I shoot a, a, a Canon EOS RP. It's a mirrorless camera and it's an inexpensive full frame camera. That's what I'm shooting today. All right, I've had it here for about a year, um, and it does just fine. Now, if you read some of the reviews and things online, there's things about it doesn't have enough dynamic range, or it, you know, it's this or it's that. You know, all those things to some extent are true, but they're not necessarily, you know, good or bad things. The real, the real question is to shoot what you got. All right, so why do I have a Canon EOS RP? Because it was inexpensive, and I wanted to get into the Canon format. I mean, that's really what drove it. 
No, nothing really more than that. You know, now over the years, I've been lucky enough to shoot a lot of different cameras, a lot of in three different, you know, camera systems. All right. So I've shot crop sensors. I've shot micro four thirds. The only thing I haven't had the opportunity to shoot is full, excuse me, shoot not full frame because that's what I'm shooting today, but is, is medium format. Would I like to? Yes, I would. I'd love to. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a ton of money to get into that money I don't have. And, you know, so I'll, I'll buy what I can afford and, I, and I'm going to go out and enjoy it, you know, and, and use it. Now, are there things in this Canon EOS RP that, you know, I wish were different? Yes. All right. Is there things in it that, you know, as they say in some of the reviews, yeah, okay, so it doesn't necessarily have the best dynamic range. Yeah, it, it doesn't have all the functions and features of others. You know, but does it make it terrible? No. It's not terrible. I mean, yeah, there, I, it, it, it limits some of the things that I can do if, if it had more functionality. And yes, I could go buy a camera with that, but it takes great images and I'm happy with them. All right. Now, when I shot Nikon, I shot Nikon crop sensors. I started with a D50, you know, and I went all the way up to a D800. You know, so we're talking, you know, what, a D50 was six megapixels, you know, and the, and the D800 was 36. All right. I got great images with all of them. Didn't matter whether it was a crop sensor, which the D50 was, you know, or the D7000 when I shot it, you know, a D700, I did that in a D3, you know, back in my sports shooting days. Those were all, all good cameras. They were 12 megapixel cameras, you know, so are megapixels important? Not, not really. I mean, it, does it help? Yeah, if you're trying to catch a super amount of detail, but is it the end of the world? No. I mean, if you got an endless budget, yeah, go out and spend the money, all right? If you got an endless budget. If you're, you're on a budget like the bulk of the world, shoot what you got. Don't worry about it. If you're going to invest in anything, and we'll do a video on this later, invest in better lenses. And even that's not super important. Shoot with what you have, all right? You can get great images, you know, with a kit lens. Again, I'll put some images at the end of this, you know, at the end of this video. You know, take in with, with a camera, you know, or take in with my, uh, you know, the camera in my iPhone. You know, I mean, you can get great images with anything. You know, I'll, I'll put a D50 image out there. I'll put a D700 image out there. I'll put a D800 image. You know, look at them, and you really see a ton of difference. The answer is, I mean, if you're a real, you know, if you're really, you know, you know, pixel pick or peak or whatever the hell they call it, you know, yeah, you, can, you might find a couple little differences, but at the end of the day, it's not really that important. The most important thing is to get out. Enjoy the sunrise like I'm doing this morning. You know, it's coming up. Over here, as you can see, all right? Enjoy the covered bridges of Indiana. I mean, this I just drove across this bridge a few minutes ago. This bridge was built in 1856. It's the second oldest bridge here in Indiana. All right, it's 103 feet long in this little creek here. This is called Little Raccoon Creek. My last video, I believe we were at Big Raccoon Creek. You know, it's, it's just get out and shoot. Don't worry about your camera. Don't worry about your lenses. Don't worry about anything. Just get out and take pictures of the things you love and you'll be happy, you know, and you'll have experiences that you'll remember forever. And that's that, that's the most important thing. Don't, you know, don't worry about going out and getting the next, you know, $6,000 Fuji medium format 100 megapixel camera. Would it be nice to have? Hell yes. Is it a must have? Heck no. <laughs> it's not. You know, just get out. Shoot. Take pictures. Enjoy. Enjoy the cool morning air. You know, enjoy the sunrise. You know, don't get all worked up about, I got to have the latest megapixels or the latest technology. It doesn't have to be mirrorless. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything. Just get out, all right, and enjoy it, and you'll you'll be happy. You know, again, my Canon EOS RP does what I need. Would I love to have an R5? Yeah, I'm just not going to go spend, you know, $4,000 on it. You know, it's, it's not worth it. I'd rather, you know, shoot with what I've got and enjoy it for a while before I, you know, you know, really have to, you know, upgrade to something else. But, you know, maybe someday I have enough money to do it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But in the meantime, I'm just going to shoot what I have. You know, so again, get out there, you know, get out and live life. Don't worry about... Uh, having all the fancy latest technology and gear it's not the most important thing so till the next one thanks very much this image was taken with an iphone 6 this image was taken with an icon d50 this image was taken with an icon d700 this image was taken with an icon d800 this image was taken with an Olympus OMD EM1. 
This image was taken with an iPhone 12. And this final image here was taken with my Canon EOS RP.